Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the basic proportionality theorem and converse of the basic proportionality theorem. Let's start with the basic proportionality theorem. If a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides at distinct points, then the line divides the two sides proportionally. Now let's have our triangle to illustrate our theorem. So let's say we have our triangle. Let us name it triangle A, B, C. Okay. If a line parallel to one side of a triangle. So we're going to draw a line parallel to one side of our triangle. Let's say this one. So AB is parallel to, let's say, EF. AB is parallel to EF. Then the line divides the two sides proportionally. So we have AE. AE over EC that is equal to BF over FC. Okay? They are proportionally to the two sides are proportionally according to our basic proportionality theorem. Now, the converse of the basic proportionality theorem. If a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, then the line is parallel to the third side. So let's have another triangle. So let's say L, M, N. Then we have our line. Let's say A, B. If we have A, L, over AM is equal to BN over BM then AB is parallel to LM okay. that is the converse of the proportionality theorem now to apply the theorems let's say we have our illustration in the given so EF is parallel to LM we're going to find the value of N so applying our proportionality theorem we have EL EL over LD that is equal to FM over MD now the measure of EL is 2 over LD is 9 is equal to FM that is 6 over MD which is N. So for N, so cross multiply 2 times N that is 2N is equal to 9 times 6 that is 50, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 54. Finally, to get the value of n, we need to divide by 2. So n is equal to 27. Okay. If we want to check, so we can substitute. So 2 over 9. 2 over 9. Reduce in the lowest term. Okay, that is already reduced in the lowest term. Then 6 over 27. So 2 over 9. 6 over 27 divisible by 3, so 3, 6. 2 over 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 21, 24, 27. Okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. 2 over 9. So this is the ratio of similarity. Therefore, the two triangles are similar. Let's have another example. Now, using the basic proportionality theorem and the converse of the basic proportionality theorem, let's have our example number two. So, we have here our triangle FEB, and 
in this given, Fe is parallel to Mn. So, using our theorems, we're going to solve the value for x. So we have El over Ld that is equal to Fm over M. Okay. El measures 8. Ld measures 6. That is equal to Fm that is 3x plus 6 over MD 3x minus 3. Now to solve for x, we need to cross multiply. So 8 times 3x minus 3 is equal to 6 times 3x plus 6. Now distribute. 8 times 3, that is 24x minus 8 times negative 3, that is 24, is equal to 6 times 3, 6 fold 18, so 18x plus 6 times 6, that is 36. Now we have 24x minus 18x is equal to 36 plus 24. 24x minus 18x, that is 6x, is equal to 30 plus 24, that is 60. Finally, to find x, divide by 6. So our x is equal to 60 divided by 6, that is 10. Okay. Now, um, if your teacher asks you what is the measure of fm, so we just need to substitute fm, that is 3x plus 6. We have the value for x, which is 10. So change x to 10 plus 6. So we have 3 times 10, that is 30 plus 6. We have 36. The other one, md, that is 3x minus 3. So we have 3 times 10 minus 3. So we have 30 minus 3 is equal to 27. So, the measure of FM is 36 and MD is 27. So, that's our example number one. Let's have our example number three. Now, let's have our example number three. But before we proceed in our example number three, I want you to answer this problem. So, you need to solve for X, the length of DL, length of DM, length of LE, and length of FM. F. Now, if you're done answering, so for now, pause the video, then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Okay, so we have your triangle DEF and LM is parallel to EF. So following our theorems, we have 2x plus 5 over x plus 5 that is equal to 8x minus 10 over 4x. Okay. dl over le is equal to dm over mf. Now cross multiply. So we have 4x times 2x plus 5 is equal to 8x minus 10 times x plus 5 or okay. now distribute 4x times 2x that is 8x squared 4x times positive 5 that is positive 20x is equal to using FOIL method 8x times x so 8x squared plus 8x times 5 that is 40x Negative 10 times x, negative 10x. Negative 10 times 5, negative 50. Combine like terms. So we have 8x squared plus 20x is equal to 8x squared plus 30x minus 50. 
Now, this is quadratic, so... Um, but in this case, if we're going to use the addition property of equality, if we're going to move or to add negative x to both sides, this will become 0 or we cancel out. Now, so for x, 20x minus 30x, addition property of equality, is equal to negative 50. So we have negative 10x is equal to negative 50. Divide by negative 10, x is equal to positive 5. Okay, we have now value for x. We can now find dl. So dl, that is 2x plus 5. So substitute, x is 5, so 2 times 5 plus 5. So we have 2 times 5, that is 10 plus 5 will give us 15. DM, DM is 8x minus 10, so we have 8 times 5, x is 5, minus 10, so we have 40 minus 10, that is 30. And LE, LE, that is x plus 5, so we have 5 plus 5, that is 10. And last, MF, we have 4X, that is 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So, 15, 30, 10, 20. And X is equal to 5. So, if you want to check, you can use using our uh, proportional. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.